In this video, we're going to go over Pix Plus upsells. Now you can have, let's just go here for a sec. You can be promoting your own product as an upsell. You can also promote another person's product if you have a joint venture upsell contract with them. And you can set up a upsell with another vendor. But we're going to go assuming that we're going to upsell our own product. So to do that, you have to add another product in here. Okay, so I created an upsell. I'm just going to use a PLR resale rights version. And I created a sales letter and a separate download page for that. And that what I'm going to do is just upload this. Well, we'll rename that upsell to something else. You don't want to get too obvious with your your folders and file names here. Okay, now we're going to upload that folder. So we'll just upload it right within our Zencart videos here, right along with it. Okay, now we want to go back to ClickBank and we want to set up our second product now. So we're going to add new. And this is also videos. We proceed basically the same way here. You'll see this is now item two. Our pitch page is now our in the folder we just uploaded. Okay, and I just want to show you what happened since I renamed this upsell one. When somebody goes to this directory, the way this server is set up is they can actually see the files in here. So it's a good idea to either rename it back to index.html or upload a blank index.html up here. So I'm going to just rename this back to index.html so we don't get that happening. When you have an index.htm.html .php or .cgi, it'll default to that. So now watch what happens when I refresh this now. You see that it's gone to this page. Okay, so this is our upsell version. It looks basically the same. I just put it as an upsell version, change the price here. So let's go back to ClickBank. We need to put in right our pitch page here. So let's just grab the URL from the URL bar up there. Paste it in here. And then a thank you page. Okay, here it is here. Now, of course, these you need to upload your products and link them to this page as well. Okay, so here's our thank you. And just like before, if we have a mobile page, then you put that in here. Our price. And our product title. Okay, we've saved that. We have the second product set up. Now we can set up our pitch plus upsell flow. So you just come in here, you add a new flow. You have to give the flow a name. So you can call it whatever you want. Upsell one. Okay. Now this CBF parameter over here, what it does is if somebody has their cookies disabled, if you don't enable this, it would just send them to the regular download page rather than the Pitch Plus page. Now, if you click this, you're going to have to put some custom code in here and you're probably going to want a freelancer to do that. Okay, click here. Okay, now you pick your product here. So we pick product two and our pitch URL. So that we've already got that from before. We can just grab the URL out of the URL bar again. Paste it in here. Okay, I, mobile and percent commission for the back end. We'll say 50 and save. Okay, let's close that. Now I just want to clarify something about the CBF parameter that I checked and I said that you would probably want an outsourcer to do it. Uh, if you're not familiar with PHP or another language like JavaScript and so on, then you're going to need somebody to do it for you. And the reason is because ClickBank, this is the what the code they give you as an example in their help. 
example links and this dollar request so that doesn't mean much to most people so you would have to hire a freelancer and it shouldn't be that expensive if you want to do it that way now remember about 10 percent of people will have their cookies turned off and if you don't check that parameter and you don't put in the script about 10 percent of the people will not ever get to the upsell page so i'm going to go back and i'm just going to turn that off i just wanted to show you this so that you understand that if you are going to use that and you want to put this code in that you are either going to have to be knowledgeable in PHP or one of the other languages Perl, JSP, SP, .NET, etc. up here then you are going to need to hire somebody to do it. So I'm just going to come back and I need to just take that parameter out of this one. and we'll just save. Well, the next thing we need to do is put our payment button on our pay, on our Pitch Plus page or our payment link I should say and also a no thanks link so they can decline. So let's open up our page again using Composer. Okay, we'll bring it in. Now we need to go down to the payment button here and we're going to be putting something else in here. We go to link. Now remember we have our original payment button in here so it starts out the same. We need two because it was product number two. Zencart.pay.clickbank.net. That is all the same. But what we need to do is put a parameter behind this to tell Clickbank that they accepted the payment when they go through the payment flow. And here's what it looks like. So slash question mark CB year equals A. That means accept. Okay, let's just copy this because we're going to need a similar one underneath here. Now what we want to do is put a no thanks. Let me continue or however you want to want to word this and then okay I should have changed the rights down here I just made a copy of the page didn't really finish it up but that's uh, link now, all we do is put a D on the end, CB year equals D for decline. Let's save this. Now we're going to upload this again. Okay, so now we have our proper payment buttons on there. Let's just go and check it out. Let's refresh this. And if we go down here, let's just click on this one and we should see that this is now bringing up the right product. And then when they decline well, this doesn't really work right now because we're outside of the payment flow at the moment, but we'll get to that when we go through another sample payment. Okay, so we have those set up now. Now, to attach the flow, we need to take this flow ID, and then we need to change our main sales page now. So let's go back to Composer. Let's open up our main sales page. We have to attach the flow ID to our payment link down here. So let's go to link and then we need to put this parameter behind it. So question mark CBFID, so that's click point flow ID equals and the flow number we just got there. So let's save this. Okay, now we need to upload the sales page using FileZilla. Okay, so back to 
where we uploaded our main sales page. Let's upload this. Click OK. Now that CBF ID, C ClickBank Flow ID that I was talking about earlier is what we need to have the custom coding done for if you want to implement that. Remember about 10% of your upsells won't happen if you don't have that in there. Okay, so let's put our mouse over this. And if you look down at the bottom left, you see CBF ID equals 9432. So now we can go through the payment flow. So we'll go, well, I'll put in the credit card information again, just like I did before. Okay, so let's go with pay now. Now, you see here, it's taken us to our Pitch Plus page. Now, when we roll down, we either buy here and see on the bottom left again, you see CB year equals A or CB year equals D. So let's accept. And there we are. We now have both of them here. We have our $27 product and our $47 product. So we access a purchase, click there. And there's our first download page. Click here. And there's our second download page. Okay, so now that you have all your flows tested, you can go ahead and you can apply to have them approved. Okay, so you go to my products and then you send an approve request for both of these. And that'll set you up. Okay, so at this point, you have everything set up, but what you want to do is help your affiliates out. So in the next video, I'm just going to show you how you can set up a page for your affiliates with some marketing materials on it.